<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're playing Cardian Slot Machine, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Frankly, I'm a Person, which is kind of a strange name, but this is kind of a strange deck. If you're unfamiliar with Flower Cardians, they're based off of traditional Japanese cards called Hanafuda, which are basically like poker-playing cards in the West. You can play a whole bunch of different card games with them, uh, most of which are entirely luck-based, which is why this is a slot machine deck. And to go with the visual theme of cards, you have mountains of text that basically make these play like an entirely different card game. You're essentially playing solitaire with yourself, which can make them utterly baffling to someone who doesn't know how they work. Uh, this is why Frankly requested them. He specifically wanted a deck that would confuse and troll the opponent, one that would hopefully get a lot of surrenders from people who just didn't want to deal with the deck. Likewise, that's why I chose to play this. Uh, while I don't particularly like the deck's play style, I felt like it would be good to play them just to teach people how they worked. Uh, hopefully, after this, you'll know the deck well enough to play it yourself if you want, or at the very least, counter it if you find yourself facing against it. Uh, now, with that in mind, I should note that this is a very standard, very basic Cardian build with no cheesy tricks or techs. Uh, there are some OTK builds that can do some crazy stuff with, like, desynchro and bamboo swords, but I wanted to keep things simple just so I could teach people how Cardians in general work. Uh, plus, this deck is already luck-based enough for my taste without throwing in a whole bunch of potential bricky cards. But anyway, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video. There, I'll go over everything and explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some of the combos, and hopefully, we'll get lucky. <laughs> All right, here we are. First duel versus Dan XV33, and we won the rock paper scissors. And you always want to go first with Cardians, so you can get as much stuff done as possible. And we actually got probably one of the best hands you could get. Anytime you open up with Flower Guardian and a tuner, you're set. Uh, Flower Guardian lets you summon four Cardians from your deck with different names that have a hundred attack, and there's exactly four that have a hundred attack. So you'll just pick all the ones that are possible. Hey ho. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> then we're gonna go ahead and special summon our tuner. I guess we're gonna tribute over the eight. Just because that one's the only one. I, I can explain that later, but... And it looks like we're playing against blue eyes. When you summon this tuner by uh, tributing a Cardian, you get to look at your opponent's deck and uh, rearrange every. You can put them on the top or the bottom. I think I'm gonna put those on the bottom because I don't want them to have any of those. Um, and then we got our one normal summonable Cardian. Pine, which is draw a card when it's summoned. Hey, that's pretty nice. Then we've also got this, you can only special summon by tributing a level one. So I'm just gonna summon that, it'll also let us draw a card. It lets you draw a card, but if it's not a Cardian, it goes to the graveyard. Uh, and there we go, we've got five monsters, including, uh, a tuner. And all the Cardian tuners have this effect that if they're used for a synchro summon, all the monsters are treated as level 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That lets us get to our big boss monster, which is basically what you're trying to get to in every case. That's probably the easiest way you can get to it. But, uh, you know, that, there you go. Sorry, it's difficult to explain these. I know these so well. But yeah, that's basically what you're trying to get to in every case. Uh, let's see. Reveal three of the following cards. And then your opponent chooses one of them to add to your hand. Um, you know what? I'm just going to stop him from searching. This can once per turn negate a spell trap. Enjoy! <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, this thing does a whole lot of stuff. But as I was saying, basically, uh, what you want to do is just make this as soon as you can. As fast as you can. And to do that, you need five Cardians, including one Tuner. And we got one Tuner. Oh, hey, 3,000. That's a lot. Um, let's see here. We've got some stuff in our graveyard we can activate. This thing that got sent to the graveyard, if it's in the graveyard other than that turn, you can add one back to your hand. And we're just going to add the level one, because again, that's the one that we can normal summon. The rest of them cannot be normal summoned. 
And when it's destroyed, you get to draw a card. Hey, that's pretty good. So this is another one you can summon without something else. You can draw a card. If it's a Cardian, special summon it. Hey, how's it going? Um, then we're going to go ahead and use our deer. Um, actually, no, we're good. I, I don't need to do that because I can negate whatever this is. So I'm going to use this. Uh, the the light flare, our big ten guy, makes it so that when we attack a... Uh... Oh, I've got a replay, though. Well, that sucks, but that's fine. But yeah, he makes it so when you attack, a monster's effects are negated during the uh, battle phase. I believe it's... Yeah, just during the battle phase, so everything gets negated, and it's a sad time for everyone involved. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just going to hold on to things in case he happens to clear all of our stuff off. We, we're pretty set, though. This card, in addition to being... No, you're not allowed to do that. Stop it. Enjoy. <laughs> in addition to being something you can special summon uh, just by itself, most of the other Cardians, you have to tribute another Cardian or have a Cardian on the field to special summon it. Um, this is also basically like kind of like Honest for Cardians, you can discard it with, when a Cardian is attacked, and they gain a thousand attack. So this guy becomes six thousand, or this becomes three thousand. So I can make him ram his blue eyes into this, and that'll be cool. Which I'm probably going to do, assuming he attacks with it. Going for that dragon spirit. Yeah, and this, this thing, it has the 5,000 attack, and it has the once-per-turn spell trap negation. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, I got my level 1 again. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Do I have... I do not. There's one that lets you destroy monsters. So I'm hoping I can, like, pop that and get rid of it. Maybe he'll just use it himself. Ooh. So if it's not a card and it goes to the graveyard, this one, though, if it goes to the graveyard, you get to look at the top five cards of your deck, add a spell trap among those cards to your hand, and then rearrange the remaining four cards on the top of your deck in any order, which really helps to set up a lot of stuff. So hopefully, again, we'll see if we can get the boar. That's the one that destroys uh, monsters, and we can... Oh, wait, he's already doing that. Oh, no, he's just... Okay, gotcha. Um... All right, in that case, we're just going to try to dig. So, special summon this by tributing a Cardian. Draw a card. If it's a Cardian, you can blow up a Spell Trap. Deer destroys Spell Traps. He didn't have any, but we could still draw a card. And if it's a Cardian, we get to keep it. It's not a Cardian, so we don't get to keep it. Um, all right, we'll activate this. This lets us get a Cardian in our graveyard. And add it to our hand, and then we can special summon a Cardian from our hand. It doesn't have to be the one we added. But uh, in this case, it's going to be the one we added. We got Willow, this is the level 11. Which is really great because it's your recycler. It's once per turn, you can target a Cardian in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, draw a card. And then we've also got Willow with Calligrapher. This is one of those ones I mentioned before, you have to tribute specifically the level 11 one in order to get it. We're going to send our level 1 back because we, we're all out of them. That's all three. And we got our level 1, which we already normal summoned. Um, so we'll tribute that, special summon. This will draw us a card. This is also a tuner, in case I wanted to tune some things. I don't really feel like tuning things at the moment. So let's see what we get here. Oh, just another. Well, that's a pity. Um, yeah, I could dig a little deeper, but not very much. I think I'd rather save some stuff. So we're just going to try to beat over this if we can. Oh, uh, yes, I'll continue that. He waited till the battle phase, and that was a silly thing to do, because now I've got a whole bunch of beat sticks. Uh, so there we go. You got to see the optimal Cardian play. If you can make Light, fla light Flare. He's called Five Lights in Japan, and I think Five Lights just sounds like more ominous than Light Flare. 
Light flare is kind of cool, but this this huge like thing is just like the five lights, Picard. But uh, I digress. If you can make this first turn, you're pretty set. You, you you're usually pretty good. That's like the optimal play, and then you can get some other beat sticks onto behind it and everything like that. Um, oftentimes you will brick though. You only have like four cards that you can summon without other Cardians. So there you go. Let's see if our luck continues going into the second duel. <laughs> All right, second duel versus either KO Rick or Chow Rick 93. And again, we get to go first. Luck is on our side. Um, and once again, we're pretty set. So we've got flower stacking. This will let us uh, pick any three cards and put them on top of our deck. Um, let me see. We're going to pick this one because I don't really need it. And this one because I don't really need it. And one of these. Doesn't matter what order. Because then we've got Super Koi Koi. Activate this. Look at the top three cards of your, your deck. If they're Cardians, you can special summon them. And if not, they're banished and you take a thousand for each one. And their effects are negated. They become level two, which is fine. Uh, interesting thing about this is it doesn't limit you from summoning from the extra deck. A lot of your other cards do. So you can make some links if you want, but we already have what we need, so we're not going to bother. Um, we can activate this. You can just special summon this if you control a Cardian. We're going to get our Tuna. Um, getting rid of the level 8. That'll let us draw a card. It'll also let us stack our, his deck. So we can see what he's got. Alright, we'll put these on the top. Let's give him this, because I think it's less least useful than this, than his draw power. Which is really fun to do, I tell you what. Um, what? Okay, there's that. So, we've already got our tuner. I don't really want to have a second tuner. Oh wait, yeah, so I can do this. We'll summon this. This is the one that destroys a monster if you draw a Cardian. Hey, we've got our Honest. That's nice. And then we'll replace our tuner with another tuner who will also let us draw a card. And it just goes to the graveyard. Alright, so at this point I could risk it to get Light Flare, but I think at... Yeah, I think at this point the better move is to just make the other one, Light Shower. This is level 8, so it's just any four Cardians, including one Tuner. Can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. It makes all your Cardians can't be targeted or destroyed. And when your opponent draws for their draw phase, they take 1,500. Which is a lot of burn damage for, for just a card. What is this, Trick Stars? <laughs> so yeah, they can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. The only way to destroy it is battle. And we can make it go up to 4,000, so that helps. Oh hey, he milled two things, uh, one of which I don't think he wants to mill. I don't know if that helps. But yeah, and then the, the weird thing about this is during the end phase... Um, you basically have to choose either, and yeah, we're going to, you can either negate this card's effects until your opponent's standby phase, so you won't burn them, or you can skip your draw phase, and we're just going to skip our draw phase for now. Because I don't believe he's playing Light Swarms, there's anything he can do to get over this. There's a lot of, there's a lot of decks that don't have anything they can do to get over this. Um, do I have anything I can summon? Yes. Okay, so we could still make some plays anyway. We'll go ahead and use our stacking to get our level 11 back. Remember, this is the Recycler. As long as you control a level 10 or lower Cardian, you can summon it. We'll just shuffle um, Monster Destroyer back into the deck. Draw a card. That's nice. Let's go ahead and summon that too. It doesn't do anything, but if he attacks it, then you can negate the battle. F you can negate the the attack, end the battle phase, and draw a card. So there's times when maybe he'll make Utopia the Lightning and get over this, and then he'll attack this with something else, and you can just stop it and draw a card, and then you've got two things on board. Another fifteen hundred. But yeah, there are a lot of decks. In particular, um, Sky Strikers usually have trouble getting over this. Because all their stuff targets or destroys. Granted, you, you, you pretty much... The thing about this, though, is like you have to have something to back it up. Because Sky Strikers in like one or two turns will 
put like so many spells in their deck that they can just attack over this. But if you can get this and like a 2,000 beater, you're usually pretty set. Because again, it's not just it's not just this card, it's all flower cardians can't be targeted or destroyed. So even if he gets a uh like a judgment dragon on board and, and activates the effect, like literally nothing is going to happen. And we'll see what he can do. We'll be back when, when his turn comes to a turn. <laughs> Alright, well he has summoned Lumina. And then he's going to discard Fairy Tale Snow, which can't target anything. Get his Light Sworn. Will he? Will he not read and go for? I don't think there's any level seven that could help him. Synchro. He could go for. Usually it's Michael or occasionally like Black Rose. Oh no, he's just going for a uh, Hyperstar. Always called Hoshinigan, even though that's the the original version. Oh, Shinigan's just fun to say. Um, oh, he's lowering me because I'm dark. But he's not lowering me enough. Especially because I can go up by a thousand. I mean, he could destroy this, but that's literally the... the that's all he can do. So yeah, we'll see if he makes some other plays. We'll be back yet again. <laughs> Oh, well, hey there. He summoned Black Luster Soldier. Now that's a thing that you can thing with a thing. I tell you what. <laughs> 3,500 with Hyperstar. But I'm 26. So. Ooh, mm, unless he's got Honest. Because then I can go up to 36. That's more than you, my friend. Sorry to say. Uh, let me think about this. That'll be 25. I could put this into attack mode and attack over things. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue to skip our draw phase. Who needs to draw? Not me. No drawing allowed here. We'll attack over that. Bada bungo. Oh, he's getting that back. Ripping pepperoni. If he can do that again, I might be in for some trouble. If he can't do that again, I've pretty much won. He's got no other dark monsters in the graveyard, though, so... He needs to find some way to get another dark. 1500. So yes, if he doesn't deal with this, then next turn I just I just deal a whole bunch of I just deal another 1500 and that's game. That is game, good sir. And if he does deal with this, I'm still looking at at least one draw. Um it just depends what he can get on. So he seems to be taking a lot of time to thinking. We'll be back when he's done to take the time to thinking. <laughs> Alright, well I thought he was on track, he, he like, he did two Luminas, made Levier, summoned this back, and I'm like, okay, if he can get this into the graveyard, then he can make his uh, Black Luster Soldier and attack again, maybe he has some kind of Link, Underclock Taker, no, that has a target, um, but yeah, I thought he had something, and then he activated Fairy Tail Snow and banished his hand, including... The Black Luster Soldier, which was the only thing I believe that could get over the, that could at least crash into this. So uh, he done goofed in a big way, but yeah, again, hopefully you could see. It, you know, this deck has two boss monsters. They're both pretty powerful, um, and this is nothing. This this is arguably more powerful in the current meta, as long as you can you can back it up with something other than level 100. But against Light Swarms, uh, you're pretty set. Anyway, let's go ahead into the third duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, third duel versus Monrojo, or Monrojo. I think it's probably closer to Spanish. And as is tradition, here in the third duel, I want to point out I got these custom sleeves I made myself with the cool Cardians. 
I got that enjoy negation. I've got the, the deck itself. If you want all that, you can find it on my Patreon. This is an ad-free channel, and a donation of just one dollar will not only help me to continue to do what I'm doing and potentially make it better, uh, but it'll also get you all that stuff I just mentioned. Um, but yeah, we're starting with our Super Koi Koi. We got two. One got banished, unfortunately. But that's fine, because the two we got were pretty good. One of them is the Willow, which... Oh, it's level two. Oh, it's level two. Um... Oh, no, that's fine. So Super Koi Koi in the graveyard. You can banish it. Tribute a Cardian, special summon a Cardian from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. So we get the effect anyway. Just see, apparently he's got some kind of stuff. Ooh. Reincarnation, but that's fine. That'll get us hopefully a spell. Oh! Oh, Droll and Lock. That is pretty much, that's, that's the bane of our existence. Um... Yeah, I can't add that from my deck to my hand. Um, so let's see. We want this. Oh, wait, no. We want this. Um, and then this. That, that, that. All right. Um, let's see. For the rest of the turn, cards cannot be added from the deck to the hand. Well, then. Um... Yeah, and that K... Oh, no, wait, no. Yeah, because that would ruin my stacking, and I don't want to ruin my stacking. Although I can put this out here. Actually, yeah, I could put both of these out here. What am I thinking? Because these you can just summon if you have a level 11 or lower Cardian. They don't have any effect, but you could summon them. So that'll allow us to make this in defense mode. And then we'll do 1,500. So we won't have gone out without a fight. But yes, uh, most of the hand traps actually don't bother you that much. One Ash usually isn't going to solve, like, or isn't going to hurt you because it just stops the draw. And uh, Ghost Ogre, like, again, doesn't stop the effects. Uh, Effect Veiler can be kind of annoying, especially on your, your level 1, the only one you can normal summon. Oh, hey. But Droll and Lock, stopping you from drawing cards, because all this deck is, like, draw cards. Oh, hey. He's playing Brandish. This was probably a good thing to have done. Because I can't be targeted, and he didn't have enough attack for that. And now he made this, instead of Fusion Summoning... Because I'm pretty sure that he could have made... Oh, he doesn't have... He has the wind one, that can't get over it. He has dark, but dark can't get over it. He can make fire, but I'm pretty sure Purgatorio can't get over it. So yeah, unless he has a light in his hand... Well, wait, no, he could always... he just add it back. Maybe he's not actually playing the, uh, Brandish. Maybe he's just playing... Whatchamacallit? Uh, maybe he's just playing, like, Pure Invoked with, like, a couple Brandish tokens so he can easily make Alistair. Yeah, and then he can get that back, and then he can attack over it for 3,500. Because, sadly, I could not get to my, my card that I wanted to draw. I would have been able to, if not for the Droll and Lockbird. But that's... that's fine. I mean, I already went into this, like, I called it a slot machine deck. It's entirely about drawing cards and hopefully you get things. And also, this is not, by any means, like a meta deck. Uh, I heard that when I was testing this, I've been testing this on Twitch. Uh, if, you, if you're not following my, while I stream... I've been streaming the, the decks in advance and getting people's feedback and stuff, and there have been a couple people who are like, the desynchro version can stand up to meta decks. It's just a matter of uh, getting, getting lucky in that case. 
So there is perhaps a really strong version of this deck. I just don't know what it is. Alright, and then he's going to Makaba. Alrighty then. Really then, all I've got to do is just hope he doesn't have a spell. If he doesn't have a spell, then I'm set. If he does have a spell, then I think I'm just doomed. Which is often what happens with these. Because this thing I can only summon if uh, by attributing a, a Cardian from my hand. Interesting. Fusing again. Yeah, that does, that's not really going to help you, buddy. Sorry to say. Most of my Cardians can be attributed while face down. Alright, will he negate Flower Gathering? Summon four from the deck. Ash Blossom. Enjoy! Yep. And there you go. That's how you lose with Cardians, if you were wondering. It's actually remarkably easy. Let's go ahead into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fourth duel versus Rascal. It's a real rascally goofball, if I tell you what. Um, oh, and we get to go first, and we got reinforcements to the army. Let's hope that doesn't get ashed. It does not. And yes, all the Cardians are warriors. Why are they warriors? No one knows. It's the same reason as Hungry Burger. I don't know what, what they would actually be. Cardians in Master Rule 4? Does it work? Yeah, kinda. I mean, you can still make their boss monsters. It works good enough. Um, so let's see here. Just one at a time. You only need one. We're gonna go ahead and do Zebra. Zebra, when it's summoned, you can shuffle Cardians from your hand into the deck and draw that many cards. We're gonna keep our one tuner and put the rest away. All spell traps, all the time. All the most useless spell traps, too. A sad state of affairs. Let's see if we can get anything uh, with our tuner. Hey, that's a thing. Oh, and I get to rearrange. Ah, Metaphys, I see. Let's just go ahead. Oh shit, reordering my deck. Mean. Um, yeah, we don't want him to have that. Ghost Ogre might be a problem. Uh, depends what we can make, if we can make anything. Let's just give him that and that and that. Metaphys is meta, I wish. I like them. They play their whole turn in your opponent's standby phase. They're, they're pretty neat. Um, let's see here. Well, let's just go ahead. We'll tribute this. Oh, dear. Draw a card. Well, we got that again. Um, they do immediately die to Ghost Ogre. Feels bad. Um, hmm. A sad state of affairs. Okay, drastic times call for drastic measures. Uh, we're gonna add... Oh, we're gonna add this back. Zebra gl grass. Summon zebra grass. Use effect again, because nothing is once per turn. Alright. Um, Ghost Ogre kills this entire deck, so I have to main deck. Shake my head. <laughs> um, alright, we're gonna make our level 6, because we're out of moves, and this will help us open some spaces. This is a tuner. Cardians with calculator. Good shit. I haven't seen it. I'm more a pure Cardians guy myself. Um, let's see here. Okay, so now that we've got the spaces, like this thing. What's it called? Gathering. Some people say gathering is bad. I say any card that gives you four cards is not bad. Um, let's see. Yes, so this is a tuner. It's got the same effect as the other ones. Um, 
You can activate the effect, draw a card. You'll skip your next draw phase. We got another reincarnation, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, we're going to have a bunch of stuff in the graveyard. And then we're going to go into five lights, because I think this will be better against Metaphys. Yo, what's up? And then we're going to stack our deck for next turn to get set up. We're going to get this, and we're going to get this, and we're going to get deer. So one, two, three, because one will normal summon, it'll draw us the crane, which we can summon by tributing one, and then the deer will get rid of spell traps, which is really what I have to worry about with Metaphys, is all the powerful spell traps. Concept is Cardians. Basically Cardians, but more inconsistent. I mean, Cardians are already inconsistent. To be fair, Cardians are already inconsistent. So making them more inconsistent isn't that bad. What did I tell you? All the spell traps. I prepared for this. Except I forgot the fact that I can't draw anything. I need something that helps me draw. Surely I have a draw card. Oh, I have another number one. Okay. But no, if I get the draw, do I have the... Book. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can use Reincarnation on this... Okay, gotcha. Reincarnation. That'll get this... Yeah, Cardians can, with, with Deer and Goblin, if you do a decent job, you can actually um, discard one Metaphys, draw one, no. <laughs> Did a pretty good card. No, I needed that. Enjoy! <laughs> They're already inconsistent. No need to make it worse. Each one has a novel on it. I was going to make that joke earlier, now I made it now. I was kind of forced to, and it, without any sort of... Um, Alright, do I have anything else I could summon that will just draw me a card? The Tuner. Rip him, I guess. Yep. Um, where's the Tuner? Tuner, Tuner. Who's got the Tuner? Special summon the Tuner? Having two reincarnations in hand. There we go. Now I can combo. All right. Uh, you're going to get this and this and this. Time to brick, boys. I've rearranged your deck. You are now certain to brick. Oh, wait. No, wait. I just gave him stuff. Reminds me of how TK Dino suffered against Spirals, because Spirals just made them brick. You won't be bricking. Exactly. Yeah, I just realized that was my probably a dumb thing to do, but that's fine. I got, I got card with Crane. I can't use this because of the other thing. But that's fine, I have it in my hand for next turn. I can add this back. Summon this. Shuffle one of my level 1s into the the deck, because I don't have any. Draw a card. Great, it's another one. I still can't use its effect. Um, now we've just got to hope for no bad things. I've already used my negation. Oh, I could have... Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, these, these level 2 feels bad, man. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. At least you're entertaining. And not a dick. I just talk a lot. 
That's helpful when you're on a show. Uh, oh yeah, the end of the battle phase of this attack to draw a card. Oh hey! Aye, that's right boy. You got a YouTube? Pine with Crane draw stuff? Yup. Uh, no. ENJOY! That's a thing from the anime, I don't really understand it. And then he's got that, so he's got- he gets to banish a whole bunch, but I think it's already over, unless he can summon a bunch of stuff. Gotta get lucky. Ooh, he didn't get lucky. Oof. Luck not on your side. Rip. A good attempt, though. Thanks for the fun duel. I got to do some things. He surrenders. NEVER SURRENDER! Even though you've got... but yeah, I think this is done. I'm gonna let him know he's on a show. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next duel. <laughs> Yo, YouTube chat, can I get a poggers? He wants a poggers, so thanks to him. He, he's been a nice, friendly guy. He didn't even know, and he's, he's saying GG. Um, but yeah, you can't do that because I negate all the effects. It's a sad state of affairs, and honest, honest as well. Bada bingo. Indeed. So yes, thanks to him. And you know what? While I'm giving a, a shout-out here, I do need to give a Patreon shout-out. Uh, this time to Lord Crota, a nice, friendly, kaiju-themed man who's on the Discord. Uh, very, very helpful. Often donates at a high level. I mean, all, all the high-level donators are the ones that get the shout-outs. Um, but yeah, thanks to him. He's, he just helps keep the channel going, not only with his, his, uh, his donation, but just being friendly and, and, and uh, helpful in the community in general. Uh, and, and, you know, a reminder, if you'd like to get a shout-out, either for yourself or your channel or whatever, I'll, sh I'll shout-out stuff. I've shouted out mushrooms before. Um, y you could donate to my channel. It's $25 a month, which is kind of steep, I know, but if you're trying to get your channel started, like, you know, a little shout-out couldn't hurt. And, uh, it helps me out, so if you want to help me out and also get shouted out in the process, well, there you go. So, yeah, thanks to him, and thanks again to Rascal. I'll see you guys in the, uh, fifth duel? Fifth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fifth duel versus Mutant, the Mystic. Doing those high fives. Scissors? Ah, you got me. Rock. Oh, he went back to paper. I should have gone back to paper. Sometimes these battles are just too intense. Uh, yes, we're playing one of Moon Mirror Shield. Because it helps with certain things. Alright, so, has to be tributed, has to be tributed with a level 11, has to be tributed, has to be tributed. This is a spell trap. So the only thing we have that we can summon that doesn't require some kind of tribute is a uh, Flower Cardian Cherry Blossom with Curtain. Let's call it Curtain. Um, but you have to re reveal the top card. If it's a Cardian, special summon it. If not, they both go to the grave. So it all comes down to this. If this is a Cardian, our plays are active. If not... Doom awaits us. Our plays are active, ladies and gentlemen. Husha. And we've got we've got things and granted if he's got like a solemn strike or something like that, he can shut us down. Um let's go ahead, Maple with Deer. That will let us destroy a spell trap if we draw a Cardian. Like a draw a cardian, and if it's a cardian, draw a cardian, and if it's a cardian, hey, destroy one spell trap, yes, and that's non targeting. Ooh, altergeist, a sad state of affairs for you, my friend. And we'll go ahead and pine because it's normal summonable. Summon -ma 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 -ma. What we really need because we got all these things without, oh, hey, another one of those. Isn't that just fine and dandy like lemon candy? And he surrendered, and I'm surprised it took this long to get someone who just surrendered immediately to Flower Guardians, because when I tested not on stream, that happened a lot. 
So, there you go. We've got one salty surrender. To be fair, we've got both our deers opening hand. We got lucky. If we had if we had drawn like moon mirror shield or a spell trap, I'd literally just pass, and then we'd probably be dead right now. So the heart of the Cardians was with us. Let's go ahead into the sixth duel. <laughs> ah, here we are, the sixth duel versus player thirty three. Not quite my arch nemesis player, but perhaps a thirty third variant of him. Hard to say, hard to leg. Hard to beat a rotten egg. And we're going first again. Let's go ahead and start off with our Super Koi Koi. Three cards. If they're Cardians, they get summoned. If they're not Cardians, they're banished. No, I don't want to activate things. Um, let's go ahead and see what our opponent is playing. Get our tuner. Draw a card. Look at the top three cards. Ooh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and give him this, this, and this. Um, and then we're just going to have to dig deeper. There's no monsters to destroy, but this will let me draw a card. All right. Um, there's no spells to destroy, but this will let me draw a card. And just digging through our deck, and hopefully we can get something. Um, hmm. All right. Go ahead and use our super koi. Get rid of a tuner for a bigger tuner. Damn it! <laughs> um. All right, risking it all, going for curtain. Hey, that's a curtain. Um, yeah, just gonna keep drawing. Just gonna keep seeing if I can draw things. Playing Solitaire, the movie, the game. What I really want is, like, my level 11. That'll let me get another monster on board and also draw something. A flower gathering. Um, another Super Koi Koi. All right, in that case, we're gonna go for the gold. Yo, what's up? Draw a card. It's a tuner. Um. Yeah, because it'll let us draw another card. <laughs> Why not? Even though we've already got our tuner. And we drew another tuner. Yep. Let's just keep those on the top. Same order that I had before. Was it this? 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 Um. Super Koi Koi, yet again. <laughs> we gotta get to it eventually. 2000's better than not 2000. Alright, uh, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. And through all that, we could still make links if we wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna end on this. We've got the two 2000's. This can draw again. Uh, if he attacks this, it ends the battle phase. I have the Honest, so I can make them go up to 3,000. This is one of those cases, like, I didn't get a dead hand, but I just kept drawing into tuners and things that I didn't need. I went through how many deers and, and boars. Okay, and he's just immediately going to shuffle his deck anyway, so all my stacking was for naught. But that's fine. If he does do his ritual summon, and he attacks into one of these two, unless he flips it face down first, but I can't imagine he would. So hopefully I can get rid of that before he has the ability to summon, like, a big uh, flip monster. Maybe one of those Pot of the Forbiddens that are so popular. And then I won't draw next turn because I use this card, but I can just do the same effect and draw another card with it. Ooh, with dolls and spell books, you've just got all the things. All the cool things in Cool Things City. Yep, Falco summons itself, alright. Just going for that attack. What? You don't have another Shadal in your graveyard. 
unless you're just going for a level 11. Yep. Surprise! And you're dead! Now will he attack this with Falco without reading it? No. Damn. He actually read the thing. Draw me a card, baby. Ooh, that's a tuner. Uh, special summon the drawn monster. I've already got so many tuners, I think I'm set. Um, but I got this. What do I got in my graveyard? Something that'll help, right? Yes! Do, 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 do. It is number one. Only when normal summon, too, so you don't really want to, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. You don't really want to play one for one or anything like that. So, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? This guy. And it is a guy, I checked. And he surrendered. So, doing doing pretty good. We've already got five. Uh, even if we, we lose the other ones, we still break even. Cardians showing the luck of the draw as we go into the seventh duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Seventh duel versus Light of Pyro. And let me start things right off the bat by giving another hard leg shout out, this time to Chris W., the, the lord from Hong Kong, the main man himself. He's been sending us OCG cards for a while now. And uh, you know what? It just thanks to him, he makes the channel better in pretty much every conceivable way. Um, unfortunately, I, we, I think we lose. I think we just lose. Yeah. Our deck is uh, all monster effects. And uh, yeah, our deck is all monster effects. We have some spell traps. But, but that's, that's just it. Yep, that's, if someone, if someone gets Inspector Border, or someone gets, like, a barrier statue, like, it's just over. I can't activate any of these. I can't do anything. I can't draw a card. I can't be life. I can't, uh, yep. We're just gonna go ahead and skip along to the next video, unless, unless, yeah, I literally can't do anything. There's, there's literally nothing I can do. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, 8th duel for the memes. Gonna go first. That last thing was sad. I just literally, I couldn't do anything. Is oh hey, we got flower gathering. Boop, 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 boop. How many other decks will let you just summon 4 monsters? You're limited to just doing, uh, <coughs> guardians for the rest of the turn. Uh, but that's fine. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to play Stacking. And we're going to stack the level 1. The level 1 with Crane. And another one of these. Boop, boop, boop. So, that, we can get rid of our 11 to special summon our Tuner that's only summonable by an 11. Draw a card. Unless he prevents that. Nope. Got our pine. No, we don't want to special summon it, because if we do, it won't get its effect. It's only effect when it's normal summoned. Normal summon that. Draw a card. That'll be your crane. Special summon the crane. Pretty much just deck thinning. And then get to what we really want, which is another one of these. So now that we have double honest. And then we just do the synchro shuffle. Just wee! Hello. The five lights would like to have a word with you. And then use another one. No, I think it's only once per turn. But that's fine. So yeah, you go five lights. Is five lights enough to, to win you the game? Uh, sometimes. It depends what you're playing against. That's why some people are like, in Master Rule 4, is it useful? Because if you can get 5 lights out with Light Shower, then you're really set, because you got a 5,000 that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Um, let's see. No. I say thee nay. 
You will not negate my effects this day. Because I'm not sure if that um, negated its effects until the end of the turn. So if he gets rid of it somehow, I'll still be able to do things. Oh, it's Trick Stars. Trick Stars have problems with high attack monsters. They don't have a whole lot of removal. Granted, if he has, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Eater of Millions? Eater of Millions could be a problem. There is also, uh, I got a Boral Load. Steal this with Boral Load, then I'm sad. Just sad all the time. At least with this guy, I'll still get a draw. And I can summon a bunch of monsters that can attack with 100 attack. Hooey! But I have Hanafuda stuff. Oh, going with that honest, are you? Um, I'll be chain link too, so yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh wait, I could have. Okay, never mind. I forgot it was damage step things, but that's fine. I got a bigger one. Another one. And now I know for next time. And knowing is half the battle. The other three-fourths of the battle is fighting the battle. I just gotta make sure not to draw a whole bunch of cards, which is difficult for me to do, but I can still do it. Yeah, I don't even have to draw for my main draw. I can just turn off my draw and just be like, whatever, nerd. You want to burn people in the draw phase? I'm going to burn you in the draw phase. Then we'll see who's who at Gazooba Zoo Zoo. Me. I'm who's who. Set. And forget. Let's uh, skip my next draw phase, shall we? Good job. I can't be destroyed. Nerd. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. I'm just gonna attack. I don't need to draw any cards. Why would I want to draw cards? <laughs> Take that, Trick Stars! What you gonna do if I don't draw, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Uh, let's go ahead into the ninth duel, shall we? Oh, hey, here we are against my arch nemesis player, and we get to go first, and we didn't brick. We've surprisingly not bricked this entire time so far. This deck is really made to maximize the not bricking, and it does that pretty well. Um... Let's go ahead and put this out here. That can end battle phases and stuff. We've got two deers, so we'll use deer. Because that'll draw us a card. Oh, hey. Neat. This guy you can only summon if you have the level 12. And we have the level 12. And it's got 2,000 attack. All the ones that require specific ones have 2,000 attack. Which is why we play them, so we can have more stuff on the field. We've got reincarnation. That'll let us add one spell trap from our deck to our hand. Um, I'm going to go with the stacking. Even though we're already going to get to stack. Um, we'll go with this, and this, and this. And then that. Alright. So we'll special summon this. That'll draw us that. Put this back out here. Yo, what's up? Put this out here again. And I just realized I did a dumb. Um, I should have stacked. And I don't, yeah, this is level 7 or lower. Crap, I done goofed. I done goofed, everyone, I'm sorry. After being so long without goofing, I done goofed. Um... Well, we just gotta hope he's not doing anything too harsh. Let's just go ahead, this, into this, into this. One, two, three. So next turn we'll be set, assuming he doesn't shuffle our deck. And he's not playing spirals. 
Yeah, we got a 2,000 attacker. We got to negate the battle phase kind of guy. I thought I would be able to shuffle this and draw something and then do some more. I should have activated this earlier before I summoned this, and then I would have had that set up. Uh, and then I would have been able to do things. Fortunately, we're playing against aliens. So, target one monster on the field, send one alien, place A counters, equal to the level of the sent monster. And then he removes it to summon alien overlord. Who puts counters on all the things. So then he can kill this. He could kill that. There's alien warrior. Is he going to steal my something with Phoenix? Nope, doesn't look like it. Ouch, my most of me. Damn. Why don't they get rid of my... Why don't they attack the... I should have played it in attack mode. Then people really don't read. Now we've just got to hope that we can do these plays without getting interrupted. That would be nice. Hey! Special summon. Yo, what's up? I'm a crane. That's Crane Crane, by the way. Oh yeah, and then we'll special summon this. You can special summon it anyway, but why not just use the effect? Yeah, a lot of people, I, I forgot to mention that, but like, in addition to being the Hanafuda cards, these cards also have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards on them. Um, we're gonna do this one, actually. Oh, reinforcements of the army. Fantastic! That'll let us search this. Um, tribute for this guy. Yo, what's up? Alright, let's stack his deck a little bit, shall we? While also drawing some cards. Oh, that's, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. Um, so I don't get to stack his deck. Oh, but I do have this. I can add this back. This in the graveyard, you can just add a card from your graveyard back to your hand. And again, we just want to reuse this. Uh, but yeah, so this the willow is a giant trunade, or hay trunade as some people know it. Uh, that's got crane crane on it. Um, let's put this back in the deck. Stacking. So we can stack some more things. Um, and actually that'll be really useful. Judge, he's stacking the deck. We'll put one of those. And one of those. And another one of these. So let me think about this. Boop. Boop, boop. Gotcha. So now that we know that's there... Draw this, then we get our fifth monster on board, then we can destroy his spell trap, because we know we'll draw another Cardian. Go away, no one wants you here. And then I can't get to my next one, because I forgot. Well, I can... this doesn't have any counters on it. Um... Hmm, I can get rid of a thing and draw a card. Yeah, let's get rid of a thing and draw a card. This can attack into that. Oh yeah, I have this. Okay. And then... This will attack into him. And I'll use my Honest, because I don't think aliens have high attack. We'll attack for a thousand. And then we've got... Oh yeah, we'll draw a card, because this battled. And then... During main phase two, we'll make this, because we've got five monsters, including one tuner. Howdy. And then let's just go ahead and draw more cards, because we can. Because there's nothing preventing us from drawing cards. Oh hey, that'll be useful if we need to recover for some reason. Uh, otherwise, I think we're good. Um, so yeah, what was I? Okay, so Heavy Trunade slash Hey Trunade. That's uh, Naturia Cosmo Beat on the Zebra Grass. Those are uh, Blazewing Butterflies on the uh, 
Peony with butterfly? I don't even know what a peony is. Sounds gross. Uh, that's the Valerophon, the, the, the beast of the forest. Oh, hey, he's making some big synchro. Neat. Let's see, what is it? F5? No, that's my opponent's graveyard. F2? That's banished. F1? There we go. F1 lets you view your graveyard, if you don't know. This is some hella old normal monster. Oh, uh, mass hypnosis. Yeah, I'm gonna negate that. Stop that. Enjoy. Don't steal my shit. I need my shit. I need that to do things. Rude. Uh, yeah, this is some really early plant normal monster, too. I'm not sure if it was even released in America. That is, uh, the guy from the, the synchro. The, uh, light shower. Have a light shower. That's the... I forget what it's. Some boar warrior. That's apparently Fen Shuang, the spirit, the ghost, the, the super mega space chicken, as I call it. That guy, he's just doing things, and I'm sort of like, eh, whatever. Counters. I got a light flare. He can flare up. I don't know if that's a good thing, but he can do it. Do you have a synchro that can get rid of it? He's got so many counters. He's just gonna just gonna get rid of Willow. Adios, Willow. I hardly knew you. We'll always have Paris. Yeah, because it's a Willow. And surrendered. So once again, our ability to negate things has negated his ability to play things. Uh, as we go into the tenth and final duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, the final duel versus Be Youngd, and once again we're going first. I wish last week, during the Harpies, I could have had such good luck as this. Um, ooh, we've got a meh hand. This needs specifically a 12. This needs specifically a 1. Uh, we've got this, though. So that's a thing. We got two monsters. So we can hopefully extend into things. Those effects will activate, but they're negated. And I didn't really show it again. Like, you use that, and you can instantly just make, like, this, and then you can summon a level 1 from the deck. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that, now that I'm thinking about it. We'll set that. That'll use its effect. We're going to go ahead and get one of these. You can't summon it or use its effect this turn, but because it's a hand trap, we can set up for next turn. Oh, that's just super koi koi. And then you can activate this, send one equip card from your deck to the graveyard to summon a monster of the same level from the deck. So you can get one monster on the field and then begin your things from there. And if you have a bunch of stuff that allows you to do other things, then you can potentially make Light Flare and the other one. Um... As it stands, uh, I think I'm just going to keep that, because if this battled, I can draw a card, and if he attacks it, I can make it go potentially up to 4,000. There's no real reason for him to remove that unless he knows how Cardians work and he knows that I can pump it up in battle. So hopefully I can draw more cards. But yeah, that's using this card, you can potentially get this on board. If you have a good enough hand, you can make Light Flare and Light Shower in the same turn, and then you've just pretty much won. And that's what a lot of, like, the broken bamboo decks try to do that. But you, you really have to, like, if you activate a card that draws you, and you lose your only, like, bamboo sword, then, then you're just sad. You're just having a sad time. Ooh, he's playing against spirits. Or I'm playing against spirits. This is bad for me, because they can non-targeting remove things, and I wanted them to remove things with battle. And he's got a rock. Fortunately, I've got no spell traps. Although, if he gets that on there, then I just... Yeah, I can't activate monster effects. It's just like Inspector Border. Like, my whole thing is monster effects. Fuck. Well, you know, at least I lost to spirits. If I'm gonna lose to anything... I got my card back. Just can't activate monster effects. 
Um, so yeah, if I draw another one of these, or if I draw my uh, light shower, then I can potentially, I, I can battle over this and then do my plays from there. But if I don't, I have no way to activate and get monsters on the field while the big-ass rock is in the way. That's why you don't surrender immediately, because there's always a chance you could top-deck the exact spell you need. But if and you don't, then, well, you're just, you're, you're out of luck. It's the same thing, sometimes people will make a uh, Baguska, and then you're just sad. Because this deck's all monster effects, it's just what it is. Look, I feel like I was talking about something, and then I got derailed, and now I can't uh, remember. Oh yeah, the, 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 the bamboo sword variant. Yeah, probably would have been better if I had just gone for light shower, and then I could have floated in, or no, light flare, then floated into light shower, or just negated the, the spell altogether. Stopped him from even getting a monster on the field. As it stands again, we're just heart of the Cardians over here. Is our ability to play Solitaire good or not so good? Is to be has what can become? Nope. <laughs> nope, just a sad state of affairs. Can't activate a dang old thing. Not even a ding-dang doodly thing, but that's fine. We still won quite a bit. Let's just see ya on the end screen. <laughs> Surprise! It's a bonus duel versus Zaysir. And uh, the reason we're doing a bonus duel, twofold. One, Ooh. I completely forgot that I needed to give another hard leg shout-out to Windshadow64. Great guy. Maybe you've seen him on the deck build challenge. He's got quite the soothing voice. He play he duels pretty well. Uh, and he's also a big supporter on the channel, so thanks to him, alongside Chris W. and Lord Crota down in the comments. And then also I realized I went this whole episode and never explained the name, and some, some people get upset when I don't explain the name. Granted, a Google search would probably reveal. Uh, this is the Dominic Cobb, is the, the main character from Inception. And uh, we, we use that because uh, it's playing card games within card games. It's card gameception. It's cardception over here. Like the dream within a dream, but it's a card within a card. Okay, he's playing bamboo sword stuff too. And I was originally going to uh to to name myself Exhibit. If you're unfamiliar with him, he's he's was on a Pimp My Ride, which was an old show on MTV. He was famous for like people would like give him his cards, or his car, they'd give him his car, and he'd be like, I'm a DJ, uh, can you make my car good? And he'd come back and be like, yo dog, so I heard you liked music, so we put music in your car so you can, you could DJ, we put turntables in your car so you can DJ while you drive. Like, whatever they were into, he's just like, you could do this while you drive now. And so it became the meme where someone's like, I really like cars. And then you come back like, yo, we put a car in your car so you could drive while you drive. I, I mentioned that I would be sad if he made Baguska, and then he made Baguska, and now I'm sad. Um, granted, we could still possibly... I mean, we can at least... Yeah, we could still do things. Assuming we get... Sadness. Well then. Um... Hmm. I should I had this and I didn't stack first. I'm dumb. I was thinking too much about exhibit. It's a sad state of affairs to be certain. Um And if I activate that, then I can if I activate Alright. Let's go for this. What we're going to do, I believe I can still do this. Because I can get the ones that still allow you to summon things. Um, see, go for one of these. Go for... Fuck, it's mostly the spell traps that let you summon things. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, one of these... I don't know if that'll work, but we could certainly try. And just in case I get out of this mess, one of these. So, one, two, three. Alright. So, normal summon this. Oh yeah, I don't even get to draw. Okay. 
Um, but I can destroy it by discarding. All right. Let's go ahead, because Link Monsters can't go into defense mode, so... Kill that. There we go. Um, draw a card, and now it's useless. Yo, what's up? Um, but the other one... It's on the top three cards. Okay, I really need to get to the other thing. So, put this down here. Hope that... Yeah, I'll get another one of these. Alright, that's mildly useful. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to tribute this to clear room. And summon this guy. Let us draw a card. More Cardians. Hey! I'll special summon that. Shuffle some more things into the deck. Show me potato salad. That's not potato salad at all. Uh, draw another card. Alright. Yeah, I'll destroy that. Why not? Um, hmm. Don't want to get rid of my big monsters or my level 11 because that might be my only chance to summon a tuner if I get it. Um, but I have to. I can't summon it over another one of these. Let's just do less damage and hope it works out. Nope, it didn't work out. Um, not yet, at least. There's still one more chance. We can do this. That'll get me a draw, because at the end phase of the turn it battled, I get to draw. I can attack for 2,000. Bada bingo. <coughs> Bada bungo. Draw a card. Super Koi Koi, which I already used. A sad state of affairs. Hmm. Yep, at that point. If he can make his big fusion monster this turn, I'm just done for. There's just nothing I can do, because he can attack so many times and do all the damage. But I certainly tried. Again, I kind of messed up there. If I had stacked first and then used this, I would have been able to, uh... I would have been able to make... What does... Whatchamacallit? Without wasting any cards, I could have made, uh, the Nightmare. And then blew his thing up, or I could have made the big Nightmare. And shuffled it back into the deck, although I'd probably prefer to blow it up. Blowed it up, had more attack on, had another one, then I could have done some more things. And I wouldn't be down 2,000, so perhaps I'd be able to survive this a little bit better. And if I could have gotten to either of my tuners, I'd be pretty set. Well, no, I needed to get to Light Shower. Light Shower is who you need to win. At least against Luna Lights, because they can't really get over Light Shower very easily. But yeah, I was going to say, I was originally going to be Exhibit. That was the joke I was making on stream. But, uh... I realized I had already done Exhibit in a previous one. I don't know which one. Just someone mentioned it to me. They're like, weren't you already Exhibit? And I'm like, oh yeah. So instead I, I went with this, with the card section. I'm slowly running out of names. Yep, there we go. That thing's just going to destroy me. So sadly, it's another loss, but you know what? You got to see some Link shenanigans. That's cool. Plus, it gives a little bit more realistic expectations of, of uh, how Cardians work. Because the whole mechanic is just like draw and then do something and then draw, there, there's always a chance you won't draw what you need or draw something you can't summon. And then sadness is a place you exist in. Uh, but either way, now I'll see you on the, the real 10th duel, or the, the real end screen. That was the 11th duel. <laughs> So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Cardian Slot Machine, we went 7-4 and four after 11 duels. Would have been 7-3 and three if we had just ended it there, but I had to talk about Exhibit, so hopefully you enjoyed that. But uh, either way, pretty good for a slot machine deck, for a deck that just sort of like randomly does stuff where you're drawing a whole bunch of cards. 
uh, much better than I expected it to be. And a little bit more fun than I thought it would be. Uh, they're definitely not in, like, my top ten decks or whatever, but I, I definitely appreciate what Cardians do, and I can see kind of now why people like them, even if I don't really think they're, they're all that great for the game, just with how, like, solitaire-ish they can be. But either way, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something about Cardians, either to pick them up yourself, or just so you know what to do when you run into them. Thanks again to Frankly I'm a Person for suggesting them. Next time on the What A Deck, I'm going to be looking at vampires, hopefully. I haven't started building the deck yet. There's always a chance that I'll start and then not be able to find a build that I'm satisfied with, and I'll go to something else. But most likely, I think I'm going to be doing vampires, so you can look forward to that. Until next time, good luck, and have fun. Mm -hmm.